Paintings by children living in Ukrainian refugee camps line the walls of Marketa Varel's home. It's a situation she's all too familiar with. Here are the little ragamuffins that reminded me so much of myself. As a child, Marketa spent nine months in a camp while escaping Russian oppression from her native Czechoslovakia during the Cold War. And in my nightmares, uh, I, I would envision the Russian tanks rolling back into Czechoslovakia and uh, liberating us, you know, at the point of the barrel of their tanks. Now, Marketa sees those nightmares coming true for countless innocents in Ukraine. Earlier this year, she traveled there to see the suffering for herself. Essentially, it was the helplessness at watching the fact that Ukrainians weren't getting enough help. Marketa has now founded the Sunflower Fund, a nonprofit that's bypassing the bureaucracies of international aid agencies and giving supplies directly to four organizations she's met with on the ground. Among those agencies, one that counsels teenage victims of Russian sexual assault, some of them bearing the children of their attackers. The soldiers are essentially told they can rape and pillage. In essence, it's part of their compensation. Through presentations to local service groups and even setting up shop at the local farmer's market, Marketa has raised more than $40,000 for everything from tourniquets to 3D printers. These combat first aid kits were ordered Sunday and delivered just two days later. They're able to get the supplies they need. They're able to leverage the money to buy in bulk and to get it to where they need. Marketa plans to return to Ukraine in January. Until then, the paintings on her walls remind her there are still children in those refugee camps. A flag given to her by volunteers inspires her to not rest until those kids are home and free again. It tells me that it's possible and that the only thing um, that I can do wrong is to give up. I know that it lets me sleep better at night when I know that I didn't just sit by and let this happen. In Anacortes, North Bureau Chief Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.